today's video, I want to share some luxury items, some handbags, some SLGs, um, I think an accessory or two that I love, I think is gorgeous, but I'm one and done. I'm one and done. I, I won't buy it again. channel if you are new here my name is Rakita where luxury has no limits and for my returning fam MVP y'all already know MVP so in today's video I want to share some um, luxury items that I love um, still makes me happy when I look at it but you know it's it's not practical it's not practical practical for my lifestyle um, maybe it's not holding up the way I want or, you know, it's a, it's a plethora of reasons. It's a plethora of reasons and we're going to get into it. Now, these are items that, because listen, when I can't use something or when, listen, it's not doing nothing for me on any spectrum, whether I think if it's a, it's a piece of art or, you know, I just can't use it. It doesn't fit in my lifestyle. If something doesn't work for me, I typically sell that item. But these are items that I love, you know what I'm saying? But I just, for whatever reason, we're going to discuss, I just will not buy two of them. So let's get into it. Yes, yes, I'm going to just, shh, I'm going to just deep dive into it. Yes, this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Very popular bag stays out of stock um but i don't love it i don't love it i am i'm keeping this bag in my collection because it is a classic um and it is very funky and fresh especially when you um carry it from the top handle so for this to be a classic um for louis vuitton i still think it has a fresh take on the monogram however uh-uh. Let me, let me tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. So, let's start with the opening. This clasp, listen, you have to push in word for it to open. Okay? And then even though I'm pushing it inward, like, it doesn't... So, let's start with the clasp. One, it attracts too many hairline scratches okay too many and you so to open it you have to press this little dial um inward so when you open it the flap opens up like this and the glazing on the side from opening in and out it wears out over time also with the opening class being this gold hardware you know obviously you in and out your bag all the time so it's just it's just a, it's just it's asking for extra wear and tear and extra scratches okay so then when you close it you have to like push it you have to push in too hard and you know I don't I don't like the struggle I really don't and then well, let's talk about the sizing this is the biggest thing for me okay so I have an organizer in here, but let's let's take the organizer out. Even though these are not taking up space, but you know, let's play let's play devil's advocate. Let's take out the organizer. Okay, so when I first you know wanted to purchase this bag years ago when it first came out, you know I did my due diligence. I you know watched some reviews, read some reviews. All you heard was, oh, it's so roomy. It's so space lies 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 they told okay sorry not the truth once you put a wallet I'm not a card holder once you put a wallet cell phone even with the cell phone going in the back pocket okay because with the cell phone in the back pocket it still bulges in and takes takes up space in this main compartment so once you put your wallet, your cell phone, you know, maybe a mini pochette for your catch-all, some sunglasses, you're done. 
it's it's filled. It's done. So this is not spacious. This is this is not spacious. Um and don't don't let the width of it fool you. It is not it's not spacious. So you know, see look look, I'm trying to close it and I'm I'm fighting and them two pushes probably put a scratch on the hardware. I don't know. Um, the Vachetta does not bother me. It's very minimum. Um, it's just those things. That, but, like I said, it's a classic. It's a fresh classic. So, I will not be selling her. However, she will not have a sister. Let me know if you guys want me to do a, a real okay a realistic what fits in my bag with this pochette matisse let me know in the comments and i will do so okay so we just gonna get the handbags out the way so the next handbag that i will never purchase again um is is so two and one okay let me let me explain two and one one just the azure canvas um i will never purchase another handbag in the azure canvas is it beautiful? Yes. Will it pop off most of your spring and summer outfits? Absolutely. No question. But listen, color transfer is real and I ain't got time to be worrying about where this bag is rubbing up on my clothes. I can't crossbody it because I have some jeans on. It's too, it's too high maintenance. It's too high maintenance for my lazy lifestyle, okay? So, just the Azor canvas alone, I will never purchase. However, I will never sell, so I have a Speedy in Azor. Y'all know that ain't going anywhere, okay? That's part of my trifecta, okay? And then I have this um, No Way in Azor. And I'm not getting rid of them because one, they're classics. With the Speedy, it's part of my trifecta collection. And then with the bucket bag, um, I can wear more often. It's very casual. Um, I don't have a triacta, triacta, a trifecta collection in the bucket bags. And then this um, Vachetta handle that I got helps me, you know, maintain the integrity of the Vachetta. However, it's still a Zor. It's still a Zor. It's still hard to manage. You know, you still got to pay way too much attention. So, I will never purchase another Azor canvas bag. Now, I will also never purchase another Noe, be petite or otherwise, because bucket bags are not my thing. Okay? Ah! See? See? I was talking bad about her. She acted up. Doctor, she too high maintenance. <laughs> but bucket bags are not my thing. It is too unsecured. Now this is coming from a girl who loves me a toe. I love me a never full. So it's not the fact that it doesn't have a snap closure or a zipper closure that bothers me. It's that no matter how hard you cinch her in, okay, I can pull so tight, almost suffocate Miss Ma'am. And she will still not close all the way, okay? So one little topsy-turvy is something coming out this bag. It's just, and then, not to mention the security. Not just your mistake of maybe spilling something over. You know, you have it on your shoulders or you sit it somewhere because it's an open pit. Somebody all up in your business. And maybe all up in your business and take something that don't belong to them. So, I am not getting rid of her because one, she's a classic. And two, I do use her. Um, but... I don't want the headache of having her in like another sister. So this is it. With no ways, with bucket bags, I'm one and done. With Azor canvas, well, I guess I'm two and done. Is that a thing? <laughs> Listen, don't come for me. Don't come for me. I know I told y'all I love this bag and I do. That's why I'm never getting rid of her. Okay, my Saint Laurent toe. However, she also will be an only child because as two things, two things. The, the main thing is she attracts so much. Can y'all, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, 
but she attracts so much lint can y'all see that she attracts so much lint okay and i'm not trying to carry a lint roller everywhere i go okay i gotta pull her down because y'all can't even see me can you see me <laughs> but she attracts too much lint okay and well, I was about to say, I don't know if it's the material, but obviously it's the material. And then the color with it being black, it doesn't help. Um, so when I take her out and when I bring her home, you know, I got to lint roll her down. And I told y'all about my lazy handbag lifestyle. It's too much work. But she is gorgeous. But and another reason why she won't have a sister is because, let me take, let me take the organizer out. Hold on. Come on, please. Okay. Now, she's also a black hole. Okay. When I say a black hole, there's no uh, D ring, there's no keychain. Um, you know, like the little lanyards that they usually put in these totes to help you put your keys on so you can find them easily. It's literally a black pit. Literally a black pit. And here we go. Literally a black pit. And. I don't know there's there's more tote options um that's a little bit more convenient and user friendly than this however because she is all black um and because this is my first Saint Laurent anything um I will be keeping her I will be keeping her because she does come in handy when I'm in like a monochrome casual outfit or a casual black outfit um, or just a laid back darker type of outfit so she she comes in handy it's just like I said she's too much work to carry as far as letting her down and it used to be organization but when I got the you know uh, insert it kind of helped with the black pit problem but it don't help with the lint problem so unless you know Saint Laurent start making these and I know Saint Laurent has leather toes but I don't like them unless they make the Le Rouge, Le, Le Vavouge, whatever <laughs> unless they make this uh, style tote in leather um, I won't be getting another one but I love her and I will use my energy in taking care of her but she also will be an only child okay so this is a kit this is all in the frame it's all in the frame y'all can't even see me but this is a louis vuitton keep all in the size of 55. okay so i have a caveat to this it's not that i will never buy another keep all but i will only buy keep all in the size 45. 55 is way too big and 50 is pushing it and when I mean too big I mean for air travel now of course you know this in the back seat going on um you know a little staycation you know road trip not a problem but um for airline travel this is this is way too big okay and even like I said I think the 50 would be pushing it and then also I would not get Vachetta leather um she is not going nowhere because you know she old this is when you know I started making a little coin <laughs> so this is one of my first uh pieces she has been everywhere with me um so love her and I even had where is it it's not playing over right here okay so even on this side um because she gets heavy look chat she gets heavy so I had to one time because it was so heavy um, and I, I, I've used it for years every chance that I get um, the Vachetta hat broke the strap hat broke so I had to get this replaced and repaired so that's why this um, bandolier strap is a little lighter than the rest but I will never sell her or get rid of her because one she has sentimental values and then two you know when I say vintage she I mean she ain't 20 years old she probably about she probably about 12 maybe 13 probably a couple of years older than that but you know 
she was my first she was my first I think I'm cute piece you know so I will never get rid of her but I will never buy another one in this size I think the only size I will get another keep all in like I said it's the 45 yeah I'm putting my foot down I stand on that and I meant what I said <laughs> all right let's get into some accessories no I, I ain't telling the truth I'm lying let's get into some SLGs let's get into some small leather goods let me explain let me explain let me explain I do I love it yes I, I did not tell no lies I love it do I think it's beautiful um of course but I will never buy another wallet another card holder in this lambskin leather this this leather is too soft to be anybody's wallet like I'm very limited on when I use this wallet because one or two things are happening when I'm using this wallet. One, I'm either putting it in a part of my handbag, a section of my handbag that nothing else is in, or I'm only using this during date night when I'm carrying a smaller bag where maybe this, a lipstick, a lip gloss, um, my cell phone maybe is in it. Like I'm on a date night so my boot thing probably got the key this is scary it is it is scary to put it in a handbag with other items because you just know that this leather is going to get scratched up and it's going to wear and tear pretty fast and also using it often you r risk run the <laughs> you run the risk of you know wearing down the flap because you know to get in and out of it obviously you open it and then you know it just kind of wears wears the flap down a little too much so do I love her yes will I keep her absolutely where would I buy another one I would buy another card case but not in lambskin leather not in in um, soft wearing leather I would get caviar leather but not not lambskin now on the train of wallets zippy wallet is fine not the problem the problem is the printing on it I don't want another wallet with printing because where the wallet opens the printing wears off like can you guys see how there you go you see how that's faded but then you know the part of the wallet that doesn't you know have to be bent is not so the print the print wallets are not for me unless it is embossed in the leather I will not do print mm -mm. because it wears over time it wears and I don't think you can avoid it and speaking of print also with the Louis Vuitton animation collection so I am not getting rid of this one because um, it's an animation piece is it my first animation piece I think it's my first Christmas animation no I got the notebook but it's a notebook so this is my first you know SLG with the Christmas animation so for that reason I am not getting rid of her I will keep her um, but I won't buy another one nope so the Christmas animations that come out from here on out nope well at least I'm not gonna get nothing that's in a small leather good you know what I mean like a bandu that's fine that's fine um but that's it it won't be another passport holder it won't be another mini pochette um nothing like that because like I said over time especially if I use this consistently this animation is going to wear off so this is you know now it's a strictly a collection item but I'm okay with that you know I just won't get another one another luxury item I will never buy again is a sunglass case holder a luxury sunglass case holder so and you know I have this one but not you know it's not this one nothing's wrong with this one it's not this one in particular it's just period a designer sunglass case because you know if you think about it most luxury sunglasses that you purchase comes with a case 
right? And then most of them come with two also. So it comes with the hard case and then it comes with the soft case that, you know, allows you to stick in your bag, travel in your bag more easily. So, you know, after a while, especially with designer sunglasses, you know, this becomes irrelevant. Yes. Yes, my agenda. My agenda, my agenda made the video. Yes. Now, nothing's wrong with the agenda. The agenda is fine. It holds up fine. Um, you know, make sure I show my business. But see, the um, hardware, nothing's wrong with it. Pocket still, you know, intact, fairly new. And I had this a while. Um, see, the hardware still, still good. Still shiny. Still like new. So, I mean, make sure my business ain't, okay. So, no complaints with the actual agenda. Let me show you the clap. The, and you know, for me to use this fairly often, the even the hardware doesn't look all scratched up. So the agenda itself is fine. Here's why I would never buy another one. Because, okay, first, once you have one agenda, do you really need another one? Do you really? And I got the medium size. So this is small enough to take with me on a daily fit in a handbag. You know, as long as I'm not portraying tiny bag energy that day. I can put this in my handbag. Not a problem. Um, but it's big enough where I can write in it comfortably. So, I mean, I won't buy another one because one, I don't need another one. And then two, I don't see the point of having her and then getting like maybe a dust agenda. Like... That's just too much. That that may be a little excess in my mind. Um, and unless it's long-term notes or long-term ideas, I really don't write in her as much as I would have thought. Because when I need quick notes or like a note or a checklist that once I complete it, I don't need it anymore, I usually just want some scrap paper or like some... Um, you know notebook paper maybe an index card that I keep around so I can jot it down sticky note jot it down and then throw it away when I'm done so I don't really use this as often unless I'm jotting down long-term things like even scheduling I don't use this for scheduling if I have an appointment I usually put it in my phone and tell Siri to do her job and that's it so I don't need another one do I want to keep this for long-term ideas long-term notes um, things like that, yes. Do I need another one? No. Last but certainly not least of luxury items that I have, I love, but I will not buy another one, is this Dior visor. Now, y'all know I will rock a luxury hat, a luxury headband, bucket hat, the majujas, the majujas, which is why I purchased this. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, my original thought behind it was if you know I have a cute hairstyle I could still block the sun but you know won't mess up my hair but this is this is a little bit too unrealistic to wear you know at least for my life my lifestyle because if I'm doing out like I like to do you know outdoor festivals outdoor you know shopping local shopping you know when people come out set up the kiosks share their small businesses things like that um, festivals carnivals amusement parks this ain't realistic to wear it like unless I'm going to a tennis match um okay I, I don't know and that could be just me maybe I'm just not styling it appropriately I don't know but I just I don't feel like I have enough options to wear this or enough places to wear this where this would be appropriate let me know if I'm wrong let me know in the comments um you know I cause I need some help on this one because I love her I still think she cute I mean come on Jazor, I love it but I don't I don't wear it often enough where I can even think about getting another one. So I don't know. I need some help on this one, y'all. Let me know. Okay, good people. That is it. Those are the items that I still love, that I still adore, that I want to keep in my collection. But 
I don't want another one. And for the reasons we talked about. So let me know. Do you have any of these items? Do you have multiple of any of these items? Or do you kind of feel like me? You got one and that's all you really need. Like you don't, you don't need another one. And then tell me why. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, turning on those notifications, because I don't want you to miss a video. But most importantly, I want you to join the fam. So, you can keep up with your girl on a daily at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I am at Rakita's Closet Everywhere. Also, follow my blog at www.rakita'scloset.com, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye! bye.